Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason. I'm your watch guy today. And today I am rounding up my top 10 items or my top 10 watches, in fact, for the AliExpress anniversary sale. Now, I'm really sorry that this video is a couple of days late. I hope that you can forgive me and I hope that you haven't made all of your choices yet. Uh, maybe I can enlighten you to some watches that you may have missed through others' videos. Now, I do try and get one of these out every sale. And the reason I couldn't get out on time this year is because I was in Portugal and it, it turned out to be really really bloody hard to put a video together while you're on a stag do so I apologize for that but I'm, I'm sure you'll understand why it's a little bit late now the watches listed are all available on AliExpress I'll explain to you which stores they are with now most of these stores are ones I've used before and if they're not then I've looked up their reliability rating and looked through their scores and stuff like that to make sure that they are a store that I would use if I haven't already. If you wanted to pick up any of these watches or you wanted to pick up a watch uh, through AliExpress through the sale, my links are in the description. They're all affiliate links and they all do provide a kickback for the channel. I'm very grateful if you do use them because it helps me so much when it comes to running this actual channel and producing content for you. With that out of the way, let's hear from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by WatchShopping.com, an online store that was established in 2017. They have over a thousand watches in stock and in hand available to you. And they are from 90 plus different brands. 4,000 plus Chrono24 and Trustpilot review shows how trustworthy WatchShopping.com is. They are the one-stop shop for any watch that your heart may desire. If you'd like to take a closer look, they are linked in the description. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Now we're done with that guys, let's talk sale watches. Now I've eliminated Pagani Design from this list. There's plenty of Pagani Design watches that I would love to tell you about, right? But I am gonna save that for a top five for another video because I, I, I find it very hard to not put a lot of them into this list so i wanted to give you a diverse list without them and then for people who wanted to pick up Pagani designs or wanted to have a look at Pagani designs i'll have another video out later on uh, probably tomorrow actually starting the list we have a watch that i have in my own collection this is the aesop terbion this is what i dubbed the starry sky now this one i picked up for around 180 pounds a year or so ago and the prices once i already picked it up reviewed it everything like that shot up and that wasn't because of me uh, shortly after i picked it up i'm pretty sure jody unboxed one on his channel i don't know if he's reviewed it yet, but he unboxed one and then the prices just went yeah as they do this year this one is available on a bracelet or a leather band if you wanted it on a leather band it is 208 pounds with the steel bracelet is 229 now the steel bracelet is fitted that is the main benefit to it but i would probably make an argument for just buying your own nice strap and replacing that leather band on it the leather band is absolutely woeful but we are not buying this watch for that leather band we are buying it for that absolutely gorgeous tourbillon complication in there it is a seagull movement and you have an option of which coating you would like i went for the black dlc coating i thought that was the best one to fit the aesthetic of the watch there is a gold and a silver also this one is available on the 100% Torbion and Chronograph store on AliExpress. That is, I'm pretty sure that's not the one that I use to buy mine. However, I have used them to buy other items and they were always perfectly fine with me. So I don't see why they'd be any different now. And they do have plenty of good reviews on there. Now let's really kick the list off with the quality items that you can buy on AliExpress, the quality watches, the ones that really do outdo their price range. This is one of the new San Martins. This is the SN021B. It is a homage to a Tudor. It comes in the black and the Tiffany blue. Now I know which one I would pick up, but it's getting a little bit tiresome lately. So maybe some people would like to opt with the black color option anyway. I think that this one is absolutely gorgeous and it's a 36 mil case now if you haven't experienced the quality of san martin yet then it's something that you can't really explain correctly because everyone just thinks you're talking out of your that side they are genuinely 
their finishing is genuinely up there with the likes of Hamilton for me. Entry level Swiss is where I would put them. I wouldn't say that they're as good as the likes of Omega and Rolex, etc., etc., but something like a Hamilton or a very, uh, a much higher end Seiko Diver, something like that, I think that they do compete with their finishing. They have in the past had some quality control issues, but from what I can see, not to the level that you usually expect from my Express brand and probably nowhere near the level of a Seiko. So, yeah. I've reviewed two Sam Martins to date. I am reviewing another one in this case and very soon, very shortly. Uh, and to me, the quality of them is insane for what you're actually paying for them. Now, I'm pretty sure this one's available in a NH35, but this particular listing is the PT5000 variant. Now, if you are interested in a different movement, you can use that link below and go to the store and pick whichever one you want from there. They also have Explorer dials and a couple of other options too. If this one doesn't quite take your fancy, that 36 mil case isn't limited to this one design. With the PT5000 movement, this one comes in 245 pounds and is available on the Sam Martin official store. Now we move to an OG of the AliExpress space, Caterson. We haven't seen much from them lately. There have been releases, but they've kind of been, for me, more rehashes of what they've already released. Now this one is absolutely gorgeous for me. It's a meteorite dial and there's a day-date complication in there. Obviously this is homaging the presidential and I know for a fact someone's gonna put into the comments, it's only a presidential bracelet. It's not a presidential watch, but we've really, we've, we've nicknamed that Rolex the president, haven't we? So let's just get on with it. So this is the Caterson C8185. It is packed with a Myota movement, it is the 8285. Now, in my experience, Myota 8 series movements are not the best, but usually my experience is with the 8215, which has a lot of problems. I'm pretty sure the day date version that I reviewed wasn't so bad in comparison. Now, obviously, this is much more down the dress watch type of route but more within a, a sporty type of vibe to it which we can all appreciate really i think the real selling point of this one is the meteorite dial if the pagani design daytona is anything to go by the one that i've got in my collection they're absolutely fantastic and well worth the money this one is pretty it's priced around the 70 mark i forgot to write it down in my notepad but it will be on screen just here I do apologize for that i think it's around 75 in the sale which for that style of watch, that type of complication, automatic piece, I think that's a really fair deal. It's available on the Caterson official store, along with all of their other releases if you're interested in any of them. Now let's mix this up with something, let's say, a bit more flamboyant. This is the Saar Bomber. It is a homage to a Richard Meal. This one in particular is the Saar Bomber TB208, and it is available for £183 in the sale. Now, as Richard Meal uh, homages are starting to get a little bit more popular now, I feel like brands are starting to be able to produce them with more quality, which is attracting more to the market for them. I think that this one is one of the better ones for a better sort of price. Now, there's a lot of other brands that do produce this style of watch, but they're usually 300 plus. And I don't know if I could dive in on that, to be quite honest, but 183, I think that's a really nice tasting type of uh ballpark and from what i've seen from reviews these are quite good watches in build quality and they're, they're going to be big let's be honest they are going to be big but build quality wise i, th I think they're going to be i think they're going to be exactly what you want in that first richard meal type of homage now it's packed with a myota 8520 movement it has a couple of little interesting skeletonized complications in there to keep you nice and amused it's not going to be the most legible watch in the world, but if you're wearing this, it's not something that you're wearing for its legibility, quite frankly. It is something that you are wearing to show off. It has a sapphire crystal which fits to the case shape. That RM style is really, really popular in a lot of markets. So you can see why this one would be a popular option in this sale, especially at £183. They do also have a cheaper model, which is not skeletonized. I think it's around 120 something like that. If you were interested in a cheaper model, then you can find it on the Saar Bomber store. Now that is exactly where this one has come from, the Saar Bomber official store on AliExpress, and that's where my link will take you to. 
Now one that I have been watching for probably about a year. I don't know why I haven't pulled the trigger on this one because it's very, very interesting. It's almost a Timex homage or a homage to Timex's homage. This is the G series from Shai Zen, I believe. That's how you say it. Shai Zen, something like that. It is packed with an NH series movement very reliable seiko movements if you didn't already know which you probably do because if you watch any of my videos about the seiko movement then you all know my absolute love for their just workhorse ability at an absolute bargain price we have a dome piece of sapphire in this one it does have that really nice retro aesthetic to it you can pick it up on either a nato band or a bracelet i personally opt for the bracelet and if you didn't like it then swap it out for a nato band because that will be the cheaper way round so yeah it's sort of a presidential style bracelet too which will be really nicely fitted to wrist it will feel quite comfortable I'm not sure if it's a butterfly clasp though, so that may hinder that fit slightly. That retro Timex style is very popular, and at this price, you're beating out a quartz piece from, from Timex, and from what I've heard, I haven't experienced it in person, but they're not exactly the best quality. Now this piece, for example, is gonna be provided by Mercure, and from my experience with Mercure watches, they are pretty decent for the price and under 100 pounds i don't think we're going to be able to complain much about this one at 97 pounds in the aliexpress sale that is available from the make your make your official store on aliexpress so good they named them twice i heard now this next one is an an amazing design really out there it almost what i call original there are some hints to other watches in there but very very out there very sort of pushing the boundaries of what we expect from watches or how watches should look and i'm going to pronounce the brand name completely incorrectly uh, this is one of the problems with the chinese market i am looking at me notepad because it is a bad one obelvlo 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 I'm trying to drag myself back to spelling out words for me son. So this is the Obelvlo um, Skeleton Micro Rotor. I, I don't know what the model number is for it. I'm really sorry. It, it will probably be somewhere in that listing. But it absolutely blows my mind every time I look at it. And at this price, £178. With I, I'm not sure who produces that movement. I'll be completely honest. But that is definitely a Micro Rotor definitely from the videos that i've seen looks functional i think that's an outstanding price for what they're offering i mean we look back at Libini when they brought out their micro rotor watch which was absolutely gorgeous from the back this one however i think would be absolutely stunning i will give you the good with the bad however one the name is pretty much unpronounceable i mean i know that i'm not the greatest at pronouncing words correctly but even for someone that's probably miles above my level uh, it, it's a tough one a very tough one on top of that it's 47 millimeters which i think will be a restriction of the movement that they're using now if you are interested in bigger watches if you're interested in watches that have a much larger diameter and most others then this is something that you could be looking at something that you could be interested in i think that's absolutely beautiful now we would probably have to err on the side of saying that's pretty original in terms of design i may have just missed something on the market that it, it's taken off of if you can inform me of which please do but i think it's pretty original very interesting movement very interesting and at that price it is a pretty outstanding value that being said, 47 millimeters is gonna exclude a massive amount of the market. If you are interested in that one, it is available from the Obel Vlo store on AliExpress. 178 pounds, not a bad deal. Now let's go back to an old faithful brand, Addy's Dive. Now I remember viewing Addy's, or I, I, they had a different pronunciation of it back in the day when it first came out. I say back in the day, it was only like two years ago. But I remember reviewing these when they were really cheap, really not great pieces and they've come along so much in the last probably year 
Now, I'd say that they're probably playing along the same sides as Heimdaller and Steel Dive. The quality of them are absolutely fantastic. And the pricing is just a killer for a lot of other pieces on the market. This one is their homage to the Explorer. So we have those numerals on the dial that a lot of people really do enjoy. 39mm in diameter is going to be very very optimal for a lot of people looking for a watch. It comes in at 110 pounds in the sale and it is packed with an NH movement. It is actually packed with the NH38A, so the no day complication version, which is nice to see them using the correct movement for the style of that watch. We have a domed sapphire to complete that vintage look. It is available on the Addis Dive store. Now Addis Dive store does have a lot of other brands on there also. So if you were interested in looking at that Air of the market, that type of the market, that that um, mid middle ground, I think it is. It's very much in between the Sam Martins and the Pagani designs of the world. So, if you're interested in something a little bit better than Pagani design, that's probably a store for you to look at. Moving to Guan Chin. Now, this one is one that I've actually got in for review. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I've got the one with the Myota movement. Now, after the whole shortage of the MH movements uh, last year. It was very hard to pick them up in a Chinese watch for a reasonable price. However, Guan Chin have done the right thing and they've updated their pieces, the ones that they released with my other movements. They've now released with the NH series movements. This one in the sale is £75 and has a really nice dial on it. Now, I have the black dial with orange accents. They also have this green, which is pretty good looking, isn't it? I've really got a thing for green watches this year. I don't know what it is, but they're really, really doing it for me. I think that this is a very good price for what they're offering here. I think that this will play in between, well, to be honest, it probably goes between Pagani Design and Steel Dive, Addis Dive, that type of part of the market. They are quite well made. Um, I think the one issue that they do have is, one, the name, and two, they do have some QC issues that I've experienced myself. Not always write-offs if you know what i mean there's there's little niggles that you can see there um in terms of qc but nothing that's absolutely major like a dead on arrival watch something like that more just like slight misalignment and slightly not as good bezel action so i i do prefer guan chin a little bit to put on design most of the time however i wouldn't say that they're in that type of market where you can say they're competing amongst anyone else this one is a 42mm piece and is available on the Guan Chin official store. The final piece on this list today is another big hitter in the market. Now we are going slightly sub £300, but it's definitely one that's worth it. This is Kronos' answer to the GMT Master. Now if you're not already aware, these watches are very much along the San Martin area in, a, in terms of quality. They have a swiss entry level finish to them they produce many different brands under the lug you umbrella i'd call it uh, chronos is one that was renamed from the i like watchers channel you're probably fully aware of them this is their gmt it is packed with a hangzhou movement it is the hangzhou 6460 there's a ceramic bezel on there sapphire crystal and this is probably the best option for me on the aliexpress market for really high-end quality gmt master homage now obviously we have the likes of parnas and pagani design that make really nice fun versions of that this one's a little bit more serious for me that ceramic bezel really does put it in a different ballpark if you're not aware of the gmt's that pagani design released they couldn't release certain colors in the um ceramic bezel because they didn't have the capability to do so. Kronos put the work in and they released these bad boys. I've never reviewed one. I've always wanted to get one on the channel. Come on a Jubilee bracelet, which looks absolutely fantastic. And from what I've seen amongst other reviewers, they're very popular pieces. They really do produce quality items on their, through their store. So I think through the Lugu store, well, I say Lugu, LGY, watch store i think it is now if you want any more information on that watch then go check out gary's channel i like watches he pretty much covers all of chronos 
from what I can see. So check him out, have a look at that review. That is a fantastic watch. It comes in between 267 and 282 pounds, depending on which model you pick up. But for the quality you're getting, it's worth it. I know we like to complain about prices, but yeah, it's worth it. So guys, let's finish this video by me asking you what you have already picked up in the sale or what you're planning to pick up. I always love that part of this interaction. I love to hear what you've got your eyes on more than anything. It's more like I am spending my money through you or you're spending your money through me so I don't have to. So let me know what you've picked up. Let me know why you've picked them up and tell me which interesting pieces you've seen in the sale so far. Remember, I'll be back with that Pagani design video. Uh, I'm going to list five of my favourites on this sale, or five of the newer ones, because I did do the older, uh, the classics a while ago. If you wanted to check any of my other AliExpress videos, then link is there, or there. I forget where the card comes up, I think it's there. I'll put the card up there, so you can have a little gander at uh, other options that you may have. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Please remember all the affiliate links are in the description if you did want to pick anything up. I would be so grateful if you used that. Remember to subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.